んにちは、カーサーコグでございます。よろしくお願いいたします。And today, whilst Kiki edits next video, we're going to learn how to type in Japanese on our computers. More specifically, we're going to enable Microsoft IME so that you can use your Japanese characters on your computer.、Um, it doesn't matter if you have an English computer. I suppose it should be something that's newer.、Um, this is going to be specifically geared towards. Uh, Windows 10, however, this same sort of method works in earlier versions, unless it's something so early as、um, Windows 95, then it would require some sort of service pack for that. However, the power has been hidden inside of your computer all along. I guess it's time. Let's Nihon go. First, you're going to want to navigate to your search bar and type in Control Panel. Once you go to the control panel, you find clock, language, and region. Don't click quite yet. You go to add a language. Now, here I already have it, however, I'm going to show you that it's quite easy to get it. You might have a different experience, but as long as I remove this. Okay, so now, oh, look, I do not have Japanese on this computer. Let us add a language. Up top here, you just click. It's very, very simple. Normally, you're going to scroll down. This is where your alphabet skills will come in. You scroll down and you click on Japanese. Ni hong ga. And you don't just click, you have to also click add. Okay, so now、um, you might need to wait a moment as it downloads or updates your settings, but other than that, it's right there. Normally, you're probably going to just have two of these, maybe either of these, but I like to use more than one type of keyboard because、um, UK keyboards are a bit different to、um, the American keyboard. However, whenever it comes to this, you already now can type in Japanese. However, I'm going to show you one quick thing so that you understand it a bit better. We're going to Hold on, or should I go back so that you make sure that you can follow along? Okay, we're going to go to options. There we go. And then we go to input method, options. You don't have to change anything.、Um, it's very important that your input history, because 90% of typing in Japanese is suggestions. It's not like,、um, I will explain in just a moment as I show it to you, but、um, let's go to advanced settings. Now, you should not have to really do much with this.、Um, you want to make sure that it's m o m a j i input. I don't think it would do kanji. It, whenever I first、um, did this, it did automatically put it to kana input, but that was,、um, I believe that was Windows Vista or something like that. And、um, with this, you want to do m o m a j i input because if you don't have a Japanese keyboard, then that wouldn't be useful to you because. That still doesn't matter because even if you don't have a Japanese keyboard and you are very set on typing that way and learning how to type that way, then I suppose you could. You just have to order、um, some s h i r u some stickers、um, that、uh, you put on your keyboard, and then it sort of、um, shows. Where each of the kana is. I'm, I'll try to get a photo of what that would look like normally.、Um, in the meantime, you don't have to worry about that. It's completely free. No magic input is、um, completely free for you, so we're going to use that. And you don't really have to change anything. Now we're going to close all this because you already have this. And let's open Notepad or any sort of typing that、um, you'd like to do. So, And、you'll notice if you didn't have this before, if you only had one single language before or one sort of input system, then you would not have this. But if you are in the US, you'll probably see this,、um, or if you only have one, you will probably just see this. So if, if you have an American or a British keyboard、um, at the same time, you are going to want to click this, click the ing for English. And navigate to the Japanese and click it. Now, normally it first starts up for you with this. This is、um, half width alphanumeric.、Um, that is just regular typing. So, if you do have the issue of switching back and forth from 
English to Japanese then you don't really have to do that necessarily you can just click this and then it changes back and forth so this is whenever you click this it changes it to automatically to hiragana mode and that will make it so that you can be able to type in Japanese very simple as you can see I will show you on this that you type this as though you were typing it with English characters. That's why Lomaji is not terrible. It's useful for this case. Um, a lot of um, Japanese typists prefer this using a QWERTY keyboard to actually using the input of Kana because at the same time it leaves you more susceptible to different um, conversion errors but you might find yourself relying very heavily on the suggestions of the top bar. I will show you this. Okay, so let's start with Konnichiwa. K O N N N I C H I H A. So you'll notice that there are different suggestions at the top bar here. Um for many words there's a lot of um explanation to this if you don't already know what kanji is versus hiragana and katakana i suggest that you watch um Aiueo, the other video that we already have and you will be caught up on that i definitely suggest that first because there's a bit of an introduction to what this all is and if you're just starting for the first time however with this as you can see, there are several conversions here. Because everything has so many readings, then you just scroll and you can find. Um, otherwise, if you are using your actual keyboard and not a touch screen, you want to use your spacebar and it will, I will show you actually after I do that. T A I P U. So, as you can see, there are lots of. Um, Lots of suggestions underneath of it. These are predictions. Now, something like a name kanji or any kanji really has so many different readings. So you're going to want to become very accustomed at first to pressing the space bar. The space bar is what changes each one of these. If you can hear the space bar right now, then as you can see, there we go. There's my name kanji. It's already it's way far down because it's not as common, but there we go, Coco. So there we are. And right, whenever you've whenever you've suggested it, then you click enter. So there goes Imas and the full stop. So it's that easy. I want to get more in depth on this some other time, but until then I will show you a few other tips that you can use while you, you know, mess about with it. So let's right click. Go down here and you right click and you see here there's half width alphanumeric, half width katakana, and full width alphanumeric, and full width katakana. It's very um, different to each other. And um, let's say we're going to type in full width katakana. That's so katakana, and it already has it there. But you will also still have the conversions below, so that um, if you do have that setting on, it will not prevent you from using kanji. It's very simple that way. And let's say that we're going to use, let's see the difference between there's full width and there is half width. We will cover the dakuten and han dakuten, but these are usually in their own category here, so that you don't have to, they're in their own space. So as you can see, you can select it specifically. So you can use these for very nice, um, Sort of emoji and emoticons and such. So let's see what else can we do here. Oh, let's say we are going to be one of the cool kids. It's very important. Yes, this is what we're doing here because this is what's really all about it's being aesthetic. So if we use full width, right click, go to full width, alphanumeric, um. You can type and it will suddenly be aesthetic. You'll notice that it's not spaced out as much as you might see in a YouTube comment or something. So what you want to do with that is you can type using hiragana and don't worry about this. Everything looks like that at first, but then see the first suggestion. If you use hiragana and start typing and know exactly what you're typing, 
then you'll be able to do this and then you can select this you can click this as well you don't need to use a spacebar oh I see it's not as spaced out as it looks on there I believe it's because this is notepad but if we were using something like um, Google Chrome or any of the other ones I don't really think about the other ones um, then you can be able to have it more spaced out and depending you can also have different looks to it it's a good way to um, sort of personalize your comments if you'd like to it's sort of fun it emphasizes things so until then I guess that pretty much covers it um, I hope that this was useful to you and that um, and that this will help you on your Japanese learning journey um, until then don't forget to um, like, subscribe, comment using maybe some Japanese, maybe you could just use some English aesthetically. And um, until next time, Koshi Toshite Tadaite, Arigatou Zemashita!